in today's video, I'm going to be playing some uh, Kiora. It's the next on the list. Uh, it's titled Fun because this is not meant to be a competitive list. It is just meant to have a good time. And um, I felt like Beast Mode was always just uh, super unutilized in the game and it transforms a friendly creature into inner beast. So uh, Kiora felt like a good fit because, you know, you get a creature at the beginning for free. And if it sticks around, then you can just make it a 6-6, six, six, which is good. And then uh, Octopummeler will also just make a free dude, which seems good. Um, and then also it gives you an alternative use for your Birds of Paradise after they have ramped and you just maybe you don't need a flying blocker. Also there are games where Wizards Familiar just stays around for a few turns since it's a flyer and it's only poking for one so your opponent doesn't want to allocate resources to deal with it and you just turn it into a big old 6-6. Then we also have Rune Shell King which is also a 6-6. Six, six. Give a friendly creature can't attack. You can do that on Rune Shell Crab even though it already can't attack and you can put that on uh, Birds of Paradise which already has zero attack. And um, just wall up pretty nicely. Uh, stag is some spot removal, since spot removal and Simic is pretty bad. Simic is just green and blue combinations and magic if you're unaware. Then we have the uh, drag down and the shell game as additional spot removal. We have um, plot and primal summoning along with combinations of any of the spells to proc the elemental mastery trigger um, to make a 5-4. And um, then we have the uh, archer and the tusker as some more effective early blockers, Tide Shaper because it's you know probably the best ramp card in the game, and then uh, Titan because it's just enormous and is probably the best ramp card in the game, and Arcanist for an alternate win con, and uh, Primal Summoning to help us find our pieces, um, along with triggering Elemental Mastery. Um, I find it weird that I didn't put in uh, Crush Worms in this list, but that's probably just because there was already so much in here but you can easily fit it in there if you want a primal summoning in the crusher worms if you don't have it it's very powerful uh, went up against a couple of aggressive decks had some stressful moments but i think it was good and uh let's just get into it all right so we've got some kiora versus kaya action which is um interesting matchup i do not think i am favored at all um they will probably stop me and that's because I don't have any kind of AOE control, and the spot removal in Simic is pretty bad. Give it up, Valor's Reach! Putting out, putting back everything that's not fighting for the board. I was really hoping to that grab Stag. That's actually really I good can for me. You. That chance locks the dress. Now, if I'm able to hold off the aggression and then what I'm able to slam like powerful six drops, I might be able to do something. That's really bad for me because if they ever build up a board state with Aura of Courage, I'm probably going to lose. Seek knowledge. Be really great if I didn't top deck any spells. I had to say something. Still a one for one, I still have a creature. I was just really hoping to top deck familiar and then uh, get a free block, so. I'd rather play this because this will Leave die to cut forest. down, and um, that's not as good for me because <clears throat> their mission will proc then. So, <clears throat> do they not see the reach on this? I warned you. I legitimately don't think they saw the reach. Oh, that's I mean, more than fine. nothing personal. You Obviously, we're gonna go Tide alone. Shaper. How refreshing! Hmm. Well, we had a good draw. I think they had a bad draw, which really helps. Well, that's the easiest stag target I have ever seen. 
Ooh, another stag. Okay, so we're doing all right. I built the deck to try and fight for the board better than it usually can, and it's, it's working. Let's see if I can just weaken this thing. Okay. I don't see a reason to not play it. I'm going to lose a creature from blocking anyway. I mean, they might not attack because I have a 3-2. I thank you well, for that's your that's their first mission. Donation. Now things get interesting. Seems pretty good. Just wait till you see what I have in store. Okay. because I want to get a Leviathan. Hopefully, this is uh, when I want the one that buffs the board. That'd be really good for me. Divine Smite is worthless right now. I might have to go Arcanus though and try and steal that 2-4 the next turn. Ooh, Shell Game is very good. Alright, so we're gonna attack here. I'm just gonna show game the 2-4. And then get my Leviathan next turn. Mm. That's totally fine, I think. Eh. I don't like them getting free cards. I'd rather I'm just go to seven. Nothing personal. Thought they would use it on familiar, but. Back. Even despite the good opening, they're just never running out of gas. I brought back up. Hey, it is the one that buffs. So we are just gonna play it. Hopefully it buffs my flyers. I mean, a swole fish is fine, I guess. That allows me to attack with everything. They want to attack with both neat creatures and get another mission proc. Probably hoping to get the uh, stun spirit so they can stun my Tintin. Oh, they just have a foul. Okay. Kind of unfortunate. Now things get interesting. Just wait till you see. I think I'd rather that. summon the Arcanus, right? Nothing makes personal. Sense, makes sense. All these sneak creatures, man. Okay, I'll play these two. Boundless mm -mm. potential. I almost never play uh, Octopummler. I'm just playing it in this deck because of the Inner Beast. For fun. Not because it is optimal. Hopefully they don't have another foul. Okay, good. Very nice. Alright, they're going to stun the Pummler, obviously. And then I don't think they're going to 
That was rude. That was very strike very them rude. down. I don't want them to do Yeah, I'd rather them not get another mission proc and get cut down back. And I was really hoping they wouldn't get the stun spirit. This is better than Drag Under. I, I mean, have seen unimaginable things. That's really good. Mythic, uh, holographic card not making holographic cards. That's super sick. They just keep getting free stuff constantly. It's a little... Inspire them. I can at least get rid of two of the ones on the ground. So I don't think I'm dead. Uh, let's do this. <gasps> this. And then Arcana and Drag Under should be enough to stabilize. Now they might cut down the 5-2, because if they get another cut down, then they can do it again. Okay. Not too shabby. What do I want to drag under? If I drag under this, mm. then I can block the rest of the board. Hi. Before I do that, I will attack, I think. Try and thin out things. Good. I was really hoping to get cleared so I can get three of these. Very good. Okay. And they just won't stop giving them free stuff. I'm sure it's going to be a stun one. And they're going to have more removal. Okay, it's that thing. Alright. Who wants some? I'll take the two. really want something for that. I want to take the armor off of this with uh, if he blocks here, so should do that. Neither one of those were removal, so I might have just brought him closer to removal, which is kind of sad. Who wants some? Who wants some? Alright, let's see if they can kill me. See if the land goes off for the million time in a row. Didn't. So we've got two cards. Who wants some? Who wants some? Okay, and can they deal two damage with the two cards in the hand? And they're not getting the cut down back. Really thought that was going to face, man. Alright, well you have to block or die. So that's good. And they left. Let's go. Eat dirt, Landwalker. I mean, they were alive. Oh no, they're not alive. Because the, the fish is going to get buffed. Alright, another super aggressive deck that I'm not favored against. Got really lucky against the Kaya if I hadn't gotten the uh, Riddling Arcana. Then I wouldn't have had all those bodies to block those flyers and I would have been crushed.
So. Stag is also good in this matchup. Uh, going first. Please give me some good pulls here. That's perfect. Oh, that's sick. One, two, three. And a ramp, man. That's... Seek knowledge. Can't ask for much more. Cannot ask for much more. What do you fight for? Hopefully they don't play anything. Give me some time here. If they go like Raging Goblin into Sword, I will block it. I fear no witchcraft. Okay, that doesn't matter. I want to have uh, two things that can kill that. I will see. Yeah, I figured because they didn't give it a dagger. I missed. That's fine. How refreshing. Man, if I could draw like a Titan. I guess I guess I should have just passed, because I knew there was something there. I just wanted to see if it was like um Well, I guess if it was um the one that gives armor, then they would still give it a dagger, you know? My goodness. This is pretty bad. Shell game's not that good either, because he's just gonna make it a 3-6. For one mana. So let's just do this. Put Primal Summoning to 8. Hopefully. Okay, good. I was like, it, it can go on Shell game still. Yeah, so that attack there was just bad. It might have lost me the game. You won't stand alone. That makes sense. Steal your heart. Okay, so I guess I'm attacking just with the four four. Oh, we're gonna attack with this too. Okay. Why not? Oh, okay. So it's three. Um. This tide chamber can kill the one, the, both the one twos, and this can kill the three three, or the four three. Oh, excuse me, either four three now. All right, let's see if I can get a four drop like removal spell. Soren's feast will do it. Boundless potential. Killing this because of the potential to be healed by something. Ah, uh, yes, and they can weapon rack Thalia. I'm just chumping, because the other two threaten the other two. Um, so I might shell game the 5 4 now. I am shell gaming victory. that. <laughs> That's kind of a shame. I just can't let I can't let that happen, so. We're gonna show game. And next turn I can draw uh, four cards and then play the biggest thing. So hopefully I don't remember if I have crush worms in this deck or not. But that would be really great. Hopefully it's just Strike this dagger on the turtle and attacking. Don't yeah. break it. He's keeping these alive for whenever he gets uh, Aura of Courage, which makes a lot of sense, right? Alright, well let's see if I have Crush Worms in the deck or if I, you know, even draw them if I did. I need Crush Worms. Yikes. No Crush 
for sure. <laughs> I really needed that. I think to, I think if I drew Crusher Worms there, I win the game. I might try again next turn. I wish I could remember if they were in here. I almost never Let's build Kira without them, but it's I guess it's possible. I really like Primal Summoning into Crush. So maybe that could have been a big mistake in the deck build. But I almost always put them together, so I don't know. Hmm. I'll check after the game, regardless. Next turn might just be Rune Shell King and Elemental Mastery, since I'm not sure. Also, if I don't draw it again, even if it isn't here, I just lose. Panharmonic is wow, so greedy. Well, obviously. I don't have to even worry about them having the armor thing. Huh. I brought back up. I was gonna say, if it's puffing, that'd be great. Um. I think. This. And this makes the most sense. So, getting our own board together here. Next turn, I can just push two things away and get a 4-4. Four, four. We both have a temper. I think if I didn't make that attack on my third turn, I think I'd be in a lot a better shape. That's so weird. That's so weird. Catch. Well geez, I wonder what's gonna block that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we're gonna drag under. Hi. I'm actually gonna attack with both of these. Stand down. No, I have to drag under something else because I want to get a another five four. How refreshing. Yeah, but I, I really don't think I'd be I'd have a lot more health as well if I had that two four for like a turn or two more. Yeah, that's, I was wondering if they were going to do that. I'm like, if they do that, I think they just lose. Yeah, I don't think that was very good. Take a bar. Yeah, and I'm just going to chump that one. And then I'm just going to play this and, pro and just win, right? Now, if that blocks anything besides like this, unless this gets three buffs, it also dies. Uh, 13. So, I can Primal Summoning summon this and Shell Game something? Am I, am I correct in my assessment? Maybe I don't have Crusher Worms in this list. Really wanted one more here, but... I can shell game that, make it a zero six. Give me a second. Mm. 
Yeah, I like that because then it lets me swing out. Keep all my things healthy. Yeah, I figured they would just take the 10. But now I have a trampler. And they're at 9, and I have a pretty big board here. And the War of Courage isn't going to do him any good this turn. I don't really have any more removal. I hope they use Harmonican on that and just fill their deck up with garbage. Do, 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 do. That can't block, so I don't care about that card at all. I oh, I can plot and see if I get puffed for the following it. turn to like you know bounce things. That'd be good. I was hoping to draw a stag. So I think I just swing out here and then use stag to kind of pick up the board afterwards. Alright, so you're taking four. So now the board is empty, and I don't think there's any way I lose this. They're at 1, 14. Alright, so two matchups definitely water. not favored in. Um, but again, I tried to be, build my decks to deal with like hyper aggressive stuff like that, but oh, man, it was, it was had some uh, stressful points during both games, but. Hope you guys enjoyed it, thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.